I don't know about you, but when I first gave up the corpse products and the dairy products, one of my primary concerns was what was going to happen to my bones. Um, ever since I was a little kid, I always had this idea that that dairy was responsible for strong, healthy bones. I don't know how I got that idea. Maybe all the thousands of advertisements in my face, like Got Milk and you know all this garbage that the dairy industry puts out there. Um, but I, I imagine that anybody who went through the public school system, especially in America, has been brainwashed with this idea. And the idea of, of this video is to uh, turn that idea on its head and tell you that that's not true at all. And furthermore, I want to explain to you exactly what you can do to ensure that you have strong, healthy bones until the day you die. To begin, let me just reiterate the point that calcium consumption and osteoporosis are positively correlated. People who consume the highest amounts of calcium tend to suffer from the highest rates of osteoporosis. The reason is because these same people consume high amounts of animal products. That's where they're getting all the calcium from. The reason that higher consumption of animal products tends to correlate positively with higher rates of osteoporosis is two reasons. The first is the acid buffer mechanism. And the second, which is the main topic of this video, is the lack of strontium in animal foods. Strontium is a trace mineral that comes from the soil. The foods that are going to be the richest sources of strontium are going to be foods that get their nutrients directly from the soil. So plant foods in their whole form are going to be your best choice. Um, among the plant foods, the best choices for strontium richness are going to be plants that grow close to the soil. Even better, plants that grow in the soil, like potatoes and carrots, turnips, beets, etc. Um, root vegetables. Okay, those are going to be your best sources of strontium. Now, strontium, being a trace mineral as it is, it's not found in abundance in any food. But when you do consume foods that contain strontium, you're only absorbing about 30 to 40 percent of what's in that food. Um, the same goes for animals. When they consume plants that contain strontium, they're only absorbing 30 or so percent from those plants. So if you go and you eat that animal, you're only absorbing 30 to 40 percent of the 30 to 40 percent they absorbed. You're not getting hardly any. Okay? So go directly to the source. Eat your plant foods. Eat your potatoes. Eat from all five plant foods plant food groups just to ensure that you're getting a variety of everything you need. That's really the best advice I can give you. Eat a whole foods vegan diet and eat from all the five plant food groups in their whole form. But I digress. Strontium was, um, well the effects of strontium were first studied back in 1959 by a group of researchers at the Mayo Clinic. And they found that administering supplemental strontium had a positive effect on the bones. It strengthened them. It increased the bone mineral density and it reduced the likelihood of having a fracture. It wasn't until about 30 years later that some follow-up studies were done and the findings were the same. They were actually more compelling in the more recent studies. Um, what they did is they gave, they divided the study into four groups. Um, one group got the placebo, the next got a small dose of strontium, the third group got a medium dose of strontium, and the last group got a large dose of strontium. And at the end of the study, the bone mineral density of the patients given the larger dose had the strongest bones. They had the most bone remineralization over the other groups, but it, it increased incrementally. So the people who had the placebo didn't see any, any effect. Those who had the small dose saw a small effect. Those who had a medium dose had a medium effect, and those with the large dose had the most effect, the most beneficial effect on the bones. So strontium is definitely something that you should be thinking about for your bones, and um, you know where to get it. Plant foods, all the plant foods, especially the root vegetables. Um, 
Do you need to supplement it? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a researcher. I don't supplement it. I'm not worried about it. I think you can get plenty from your food. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Um, the Roman gladiators, they were shown to have very strong bones. Um, living on a diet of barley, beans, and dried fruit. So even if you just eat those three things, apparently you get plenty of strontium. Um, because like I said, the gladiators, um, when bone mineral densities were done on their remains, they showed to have very strong um, mineral rich bones. So um, eat a whole foods plant based diet and um, don't worry too much about the bones. Um, I forgot to mention there was another study done on strontium and um, the effect it has on teeth and it showed to strengthen the enamel of teeth as well and reduce the likelihood of cavities. So another benefit of eating your, your, your fruits and your veggies and your legumes and whole grains and nuts and seeds. But um, anyway, I hope that kind of helps allay any fears you might have about the health of your bones long term. Um, as long as you're eating plenty of food, getting plenty of nutrients, avoiding the mineral robbing corpse products and the cancer promoting dairy products, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. You'll go far. So um, till next time, thanks for listening.